Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a twin flame reading for the sign of Cancer. Please keep in mind, as it's a general read, it will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements. Now let's see. What are the energies for the sign of Cancer, please? What are the energies for Cancer? With regards to their twin flame connection, please. What are the energies for the sign of cancer? Let us see. King of Swords. Page of Cups. Let's get you one more card. One more card, please, for Cancer. One more card for the sign of Cancer, please. High Priestess. Could be dealing with Pisces. Right. With the Queen of Wands and the Sun here at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing also with Leo. Maybe you have a heavy Leo placement in your chart. What I see here, Cancer, is that you are going... Um, I see actually a process of heart opening now. It's interesting because I, I've seen just now the completely opposite of that in the Pisces reading. I don't know why I felt like I need to say that. Anyway, so... Um, what I see here, Cancer, I see that you are at this time following your intuition. I see that you have spent quite a while having your heart space closed, uh, trying to detach from all, any sort of feelings here. Uh, but I see here with the Page of Cups that uh, it's probably only at the beginning this process of heart opening but I do see this happening and with the Queen of Wands and the Sun at the bottom of the deck I do see that it feels good for you it feels happy for you you are, you are going towards your happy place right with this uh, with this whatever is happening and I do I do see that you are definitely guided by your intuition you are starting to listen to it I think that for a long time, that's what I'm getting here, for a long time you have been actually ignoring this voice, this voice of intuition. You have been trying to, to move only by logic, but I see this uh, changing here on your side, right? Let's see, what are the energies for Cancer's Twin Flame, please? What are the energies <clears throat> for Cancer's Twin Flame? Let's see. The Hierophant. The Ace of Wands. Could be dealing with Taurus here. Maybe you have a heavy Taurus placement in your chart. Let's get one more card. One more card. Strength. Uh, could be dealing with Leo, but uh, to be honest, I do feel... Interesting. I do feel, um, at this time, the Strength card, I feel more like the Empress here, because if you know that traditional... Uh, tarot, you remember that uh, this card is depicting a Leo and the, and the Empress. I feel heavy Taurus energy here, to be honest. Um, anyway, with the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, followed by the Page of Wands. And you remember, we've seen the Queen of Wands on your side. I do feel like, actually... This person, for some of you, uh, I am not. I am not sure. For for those of you who could be in separation and in no communication with this person, this is happening energetically. For those of you who are actually um, not in separation with your twin flame, 
right? If you like, if you are in the open communication or if you are seeing each other or whatever uh, the state of your relationship is, I feel like at this time this person is actually supporting your development a lot energetically. That's for sure, right? Because I see them. Uh, I see them actually being your rock. I see them being your pillar here, the pillar where where your happiness resides, not even the happiness where your growth resides. I feel like this person at this time is creating a space for you to grow, right? And with the with the King of Wands here, uh, definitely they do recognize themselves as your uh, divine counterpart, right? And it's uh, with the Page of Wands here, I see that it ignites them. It's like they are very curious about this connection. They, it feels to me like they would like to explore it. They feel very passionate about you. And they do, um, you know, I do feel like with the Hierophant and, and the Strength here, this person, your Twin Flame, they are energetically, that's for sure, and for many of you, I feel like you can feel this support. It feels to me like very supportive energy. Maybe that's why, that's why you feel safe to, to open up your heart. Maybe that's why you feel safe to follow uh, your intuition here. Because sometimes we don't, sometimes, because sometimes whatever intuition is telling us, it feels like it's like, you know, out of nowhere, it, it has no logic, intuition has no logic. So, but I see that you are, you are able to open up because this person is supporting you a lot. They are like, you know, they are, they, they are their energy feels like something very stable, <clears throat> like something you can rely on. If that makes sense. Let's see the connected energies. Right, the Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands. Let me get you one more card. One more card, please. One more card for connected energies. The Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Sorry. Right, with the Six of Swords and the Empress, again, Taurus energy, Libra energy also. Uh, I feel like we are talking here about this person. I tell you what, Cancer. I feel like this person at this time, with two Knights here, these two nights are very active nights. It's a very active energy, right? I feel like this person is doing everything possible. For some of you, only energetically. For some of you, completely, you know, like in 3D world, in physical world. world. They are doing and they're ready to do anything possible to protect this connection. Right? To protect you, to protect this connection, to take this connection, whatever is happening, right? It feels to me like, uh, I, I, I don't feel like you have a lot of challenges between each other, but I do feel like there are some ch challenges that come from the outside world. This could be different for all of you. It's a general read, right? Um, could be anything. Could be the distance. Could be different upbringing. Could be, could be anything, right? I'm not sure. Uh, because it's not indicated uh, here anywhere, but I do see that this person, your twin flame, I see this as, as being their energy mostly. I see that at this time they are standing like a powerful force between you and the, the outside world and the, like, let's say, the challenges of the outside world. I feel like this person is creating some kind of a protective shield around you. It feels to me like it. I, they, they feel like a very, very caring person, to be honest. Right and with their with their energy and I feel like they are very strong. It's it's a very strong person you you're dealing here with, and with the strength and with this energy they are protecting you from whatever is trying to you know. <clears throat> it feels to me like they do understand this person you're to inflame. They do understand that you are going through some kind of growth through some kind of development. And they do also understand that uh, it is painful sometimes and it is difficult sometimes. And I see that they would like to and they intend 
to make it as easy for you as possible. That's how it feels to me. Let's get your message from the source. Very actually, very good read, uh, very good energies I'm getting from this reading. Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Five Cancer. I see where you're coming from. Let's get one more card, just a second. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes, with the King of Wands here. Look, I do see this energy of the King of Wands. I've seen it on their side. So, and the energies of swords, I see it on your side. So, it feels to me like it's your energy. There's two of swords and three of swords. I feel like you have been through some kind of a heartbreak cancer. I don't feel it's related to your twin flame, to be honest. I feel like it's related to something else. That will be also different for uh, for all of you. I'm not getting much specifics here. But I feel like... And they know it. And they know it. And they would like to even protect you from your own heartbreak, from your own past. But with the devil here at the bottom of the deck and the chariot, I feel like sometimes maybe this person is a little bit overreacting on that. Because as a matter of fact, no matter how much we want to protect our loved ones, even from their past, even from their painful memories. I feel like I'm talking to a cross watcher now. You know, we can't do it. We can encourage and assist uh, their healing, right? We can help and uh, we, we can help with our energy, with our advice. We cannot protect them from their past hurts. This is something that our loved ones have to deal with on their own. We can only create a safe space for them to be able to do that, right? And so, Cancer, this is what I see your person, your twin flame is trying to do here. They are so protective. They are even, like, they would like to protect you even from your own, uh, let's say, scary thoughts or, you know, some, like, traumatic memories or whatsoever. So, uh, this is what the source would like to share. They would like to do that, uh, however, but I see, I see that you are actually following your own intuition. I see that you can do it on your own, right? So it's probably more like a message for the cross watcher. Cancer can do it on their own and they should do it on their own, right? And they are doing it on their own. So, um, but uh, the rest of the energy is absolutely amazing here. I, I love how how this person feels, Cancer, your twin flame. I love how their energy feels. They're very caring, very nurturing, very protective over you, right? So, uh, yeah, that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this helped in some way, and I hope to see you again. Bye, Cancer.